What is up guys, Donkus I'm here bringing you another Halo custom map review. And today we're taking a look at a Halo Reach Ray Track by II Deranker II. And this is his Halo Reach Ray Track Damn Deranker. Now, Checkpoint reached. little story about it today. So, I was actually originally going to recreate a um, machinima of that. I forget, what you, I forget what YouTube channel did on this map. They did, like, they did like a race machinima on here. I was going to try to recreate that with a couple friends, but... Yeah, it didn't end up happening. But, either way, I'm going to get the review out for it still. So, yeah. I actually don't know if the original machinima that um was made on this map is still up. I can't, f I couldn't find it anywhere, so if someone knows about its existence, I forget what the name of it was, but I just remember to use this map. It was like, I think Daytona Forge Hunter, or something like that. But yeah, if someone can link me, that'd be nice. But this is a very fun racetrack. I have just small little issues with it, but that's... Minor details, it is a fun map to play just with friends and stuff, play casually. Not really a competitive racetrack. Now, one thing is this hill right here, you have that type of stuff happen a lot during it, unless you go really slow down the hill. Which is probably to your advantage because you don't want to flip like that. I just ended up getting lucky and being able to stay up on my side when I flipped. So, yeah. But, really, it's actually a pretty fun map. Left like two minutes long. Nothing wrong with that, though. Um, does use a lot of, like, the big pieces. And again, I can't complain with the map at all, really, though. Uh, to my right, there's the giant D-Ranker dam. Actually, at one lap, you'll actually see, you'll be able to see, like, the entire D-Ranker, like, writing on there. There are some landmines in the cave, which you got to be careful of. And I recommend you play this with eight players. Don't don't go more than eight players, or it's going to get a little chaotic, I think. Every time I see people play this map anyway, it's eight players usually, so yeah. Now, right here, there's, like, a little split part in the track. We come to this thing called the X. Or at least that's what they call it in the, map, in the um, machine of it. So yeah, basically you have two different paths you can go, and there's a little collision course in the center, which I really like actually. Checkpoint and then you reach. both meet up back here at the end. And it's just a very great map. I also Checkpoint did enjoy the beginning reach. map with the starting light, how you did that. I like a lot of race maps like like this that do that. Checkpoint so yeah. Reach. Now sometimes with the Land jump at the end, you could kind of flip Checkpoint and mess up, but eh, it's not really a big deal. Checkpoint but yeah, reach. this section right here, I feel like, no offense to him, this section right here felt the laziest done. Just, I don't know, I feel like you could have used probably a lot less blocks for that beginning part, but I, I don't know, don't don't count me on that. Like in that beginning part where there was like a bunch of 5x5 like five five scattered together, I feel like you could use a lot less blocks for it and stuff like that. Because I do know in like, I think split screen, the map has like bad frame rate in that section alone. Just like how um, in Duquesne's map, Star Wars Sandcrawler, there was that one section where it has bad frame rate because of all the, like, the parts and stuff. Just stuff like that can happen occasionally, but at least this map doesn't have all the different, like, hill objectives and stuff like that that cause that worst frame rate. But, yeah, when you play this a little bit on split screen, at least on a smaller TV like the one I was using, when I would play this back in the day, split screen with my cousins and my friends, we would have a little bit of frame rate lag, or, no, just frame rate issues, with, like, the, like the screen glitching and stuff like that, but that's not a problem, really, if you're playing, like, by yourself. As you can see in the video, it's not really a problem. So, yeah. It is just a pretty great map. That hill, like you did see that, la that last time, I did actually make it down the hill without falling, which was, or flipping, which was nice. To the left, right, again, there's a duck, giant D-Ranker dam. Now, thing is, that dam really isn't doing much. Like, it's not holding back that much water, if you think about it. Right there, there's a landmine as well. It's, I believe that's the both landmines, yeah. Now, one thing, be careful about this section right here, because if you do, actually, be careful about this part right here, if you're going to this ramp, just that, that little drop off, to, like, from, like, the angle, from, like, it's like a 45 to a, like, to a, just a flat surface, yeah. Be careful that, you could have fixed that a little bit with, like, curved walls or something, I don't know. But it, it's still fine, I think. It's also something I could ease, you can easily fix by and forge by yourself. But, yeah, not that bad on map, I do enjoy the map a lot. But, yeah, be careful again going around that corner, because if you do die in the X, you spawn always on the right side. Just wanted to let you know, and you do spawn at the top of the hill, unfortunately, so you do got to kind of do with the... Um, thing with the what's it called? Oh, the little, little drop off. But yeah, other than that, it, it's actually a pretty great map, guys. I definitely recommend giving it a download if you want to just have a casual race map to play with your friends. Now, the only little confusing part of the map is right up here. Once you get off the actual like bridge piece or the five by five, the, or basically making the bridge, it gets a little confusing right here because there's like no wall barriers that tell you where to go. So if you were playing split screen and you couldn't see the, the objectives that easily, you would have a hard time unless you've played the map before. But that's just my only complaint with the map. Other than that, I really do enjoy the map, guys. I am going to get out of here, and I would like to thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Checkpoint Peace. Reached. And I did flip on the hill at the very end. Oops.
checkpoint reached. 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 Lap complete. Game 